everybody, me again. Uh, I did a video uh, a little while ago uh, about my top five uh, recommended changes to your Asus router uh, to, to make it more secure. Uh, there's actually a built-in um, function within the Asus routers firmware that does a free security checkup for you. It's not completely comprehensive, but I think as a quick uh, guide, I think it could be very helpful. So I thought I'd just show it to everybody. So if you log into your router and then on the menu on the left hand side, left click on uh, AI protection. Uh, you can see here uh, there's a router assessment functionality. And if you just click on scan, uh, it gives you a quick pop up. So this is checking on things like your uh, default username and password. Uh, DMZ, if that's enabled or not, uh, malicious websites blocking, that functionality, if that's enabled, vulnerability protection, there's a whole uh, suite of things. So I've set a few things uh, that will pop up as insecure, just to sort of show you. Uh, so here you can see, just working from the bottom, it says in, uh, infected uh, device protection, uh, prevention and blocking, uh, not enabled, malicious website blocking, not enabled. Uh, I've got DMZ enabled um, so that comes up as no uh, the default username uh, i've changed it to the default one so that pops up as being a weakness uh, and i changed the password to sort of a simple one two three four uh, security number so that popped up as very weak so this is quite useful uh, just one click it's built in with the asus router uh, firmware and will give you a, 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 click, a quick indication of any security uh, vulnerabilities. So if you close that out, uh, if I enable uh, AI protection, for example, so if I click that back on, it takes a few seconds uh, to do, and then I'll go and turn off uh, DMZ, uh, which I enabled just for the purposes of this test. So if I go over to WAN, go to DMZ, and I'll turn that off. Let that just click through. Then if you then, once I've done that, I'll go back to um, AI protection and then click on the scan again. And you can see that's cleaned most of those out. The only two things I need to do is change the uh, username from the default and make the, um, the Wi-Fi uh, password uh, more complex. So anyway, I hope that helps. I, I thought it was quite useful. Uh, I hadn't seen that feature there before, um, but uh, why not give it a go? Hope that helps. If it does, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.